Hello and welcome. This is Just Nigeria coming up on the program. Changing the money changes. We look at how halting forex sale to bureau exchange operators by CBN will affect the economy. Also, e-alien services. Experts share tips on how to keep safe when booking your next ride. And exporting Afroculture. British Nigerian dancer takes hip hop dance to Tokyo. Plus, my name is Ira Emide Oladunjoe. Check me out. The government official creating an enabling environment for tech startups in Lagos. Many thanks for joining us here on Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. And here on the program, we look at the stories making the rounds on social media. I am Wally Fakile. On to our top story this week. Last Tuesday, the Central Bank of Nigeria announced that it was ending the supply of foreign exchange to bureau exchange operators in Nigeria and also stopped registration of new players. The Apex Bank said the operators were dollarizing the economy and were involved in illegal transactions at the expense of Nigerians. Expectedly, this announcement shocked and excited different segments of society and in a matter of hours, the dollar gained against the Naira at the parallel markets. Now, for a country that is hugely dependent on imports, how will this policy affect average Nigerians? Uh, just Nigerians, Ajoke Ulootse has been finding out. A regularly bustling Lagos street. Now, nothing is the same. Allen Avenue in Ikeja is popular for being home to bureau the change offices in Lagos, Nigeria's commercial capital. Today, it's far from business as usual. Bureau the change operatives still litter the streets, but business is not forthcoming. A recent policy by the Central Bank of Nigeria stopping the sale of foreign exchange to bureau the change operators has sent them scuttling. The CBN claims the parallel market has turned into a channel for money laundering activities, adding that operators have abandoned the original objective of the establishment serving retail customers who need $5,000 or less. Uh, the bank, Apex Bank in Nigeria, has spent about $5.2 billion to intervene in the market within a year. Uh, what that means is with $5 billion, Nigeria should have seen significant balance in what is going on in the uh, in the FX market, particularly parallel markets. But unfortunately, rather than having a better value, an improved value, well, that we see that Nera gets was off. Before now, BDC operatives breached a rather widening gap of scarce foreign exchange. The alleged inability of money deposit banks to fulfill the enormous forex needs of manufacturers made Buru the change operators the popular but expensive option. We didn't go to them gladly because they are relieved. Uh, we went to them because that, that's probably the only place we can go to source uh, for a foreign exchange. So they came in uh, handy as the only other way to be able to get your, your forex and then to be able to do those transactions. Paying tuition in foreign schools can be difficult, but sourcing forex in Nigeria has proven to be more stress for international students. Daniela Dufan is one of the thousands of prospective international students she describes her experience sourcing foreign exchange to pay her tuition. They did state that you can go to the bank and their avenues if it's for specific reasons, you can easily make the payment. But we did try to contact the banker and find out. And he said it can take a long time before that is ready. And I had a deadline to pay my fees. So that wasn't an option because it could take anything from two weeks to six weeks or more. So that was very unreliable. And then, of course, you can't buy in the black market here and pay into a domiciliary account and use it to make the payment. So even that option is off the table. The CBN insists it is empowering commercial banks to meet all the Forex needs of Nigerians who are able to present required documentation. The Apex Banks has further directed that these banks set up teller points in designated branches for the sale of foreign exchange, a move that appears to have been embraced by lots of banks who are already notifying their customers. 
The CBN also promised to commence the refund of the minimum capital deposit licensing fees paid by applicants requesting to start Borough the Change operations. On the flip side, the Association of Borough the Change Operators in Nigeria insists it is still in the business of providing foreign exchange services to Nigerians. A press statement by the group's president, Amino Gwadabe, says while dollar sales from the CBN had helped in enhancing forex supply to the group, BDCs are still empowered to source from other avenues. While experts believe the CBN acted in good faith, some are worried that the Apex Bank may have been ill-prepared for the implementation. The right thing would have been those departments and uh, uh, desks as promised by Central Bank should have been functional before stopping sales to BDC. However, end users of foreign exchange are elated by CBN's pronouncement, describing it as a step in the right direction. What the CBN has done is to more or less uh, agree with what we have asked for, a single window. And I think that's what this policy is tending towards. So if the central bank will allocate the right amount of uh, uh, foreign exchange, and more especially prioritize allocation to the productive sector, including especially the manufacturing sector, this will translate into more uh, foreign exchange for our members to be able to import their raw materials that are not locally available. On the surface, it looks like it's supposed to be the much better option. They claim it should be easier, faster, stress-free, but I think we'll just have to wait and see if their claims are actually real. Yet, manufacturers are concerned that if proper monitoring processes are not put in place by the CBN, end users may still end up at the mercy of BDC operators. It's not just to uh, say that uh, now uh, we are not going to give to the road chain and then you give to the money deposit banks and then we go to the uh, banks and we are not able to source appropriately. We, it should be so much governed that money does not also from the banks flow back to the BDCs and at that time I can assure you it's likely to be more expensive for us to get it from them. Economists believe this policy could be the necessary catalyst to jumpstart economic growth for Nigeria if properly managed. If central bank sees this policy too, we are going to see improved living standard, you are going to see reduced cost of living, you are going to see improved, um, I mean, a better inflation, inflation figure is expected to come down currently 17.5, 0.75, even though IMF has said Nigeria should expect high inflation throughout the year, but I strongly believe that if the policy is consistent, if CBN is consistent with this policy, you are going to see inflation reduced to about 14 to 15 percent, you know, in the next three to six months. So, what needs to be done to make this policy more effective? Central Bank, we need to partner with all of these and have an enlarged meeting where these stakeholders can make contributions. Also, those that want to study abroad or that are currently studying abroad, uh, instead of running to the BDC, when all of these people leave BDC, including those that want to pay for health, uh, health checkup, and, and so on, health hospital bills abroad, and so on and so forth, when they can when they migrate from BDC to deposit money bank, what will happen is demand for FX at BDC will reduce. Then you are going to see a drop in uh, naira to dollar. Naira will improve; it would appreciate at the parallel market. Experts say. Putting the right amount of foreign exchange in the hands of the right people could be pivotal to Nigeria's growth and development. To achieve this, stakeholders must join hands in monitoring the process and ensuring that allocated forex is expended judiciously. Ajoke Hulotsi, Just Nigeria. Dollarine. Hopefully this works in the best interest of the economy.